Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about the single candlestick patterns. If you follow this series from the beginning, then you already know that a single candlestick pattern is formed by just one candle. If you are not familiar with these candlesticks, like its color, different parts and strength, then we make three separate videos that can explain almost everything about candlesticks. These patterns can give us extremely profitable trades if we find out and apply them in a right way. If you want to know how, then watch this video till the end. Now, let's get started. And if you hear this voice for the first time, don't forget to press the red subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get interesting finance and share market videos. To find a good candlestick pattern, first you have to look at its length. If you watch our video on the strength, you already know a longer candle has a stronger signal than a smaller one. And I warned you to avoid the trades based on the short candles. I hope you understand the followings. Now let's move to our first candlestick pattern, Marubozu. If you think about this strange name, then let me tell you that it is a Japanese name. If you know the history of the candlesticks, then you know they are come from Japan. So most of the patterns is popular with their Japanese name. Marubozu means the round part. We will understand the context and terminology soon. There are two types of Marubozu candles, Bullish Marubozu and Bearish Marubozu. But before proceed further, let make you remember the three key rules for candlesticks. Number one, buy strength, sell weakness. Number two, be flexible with the patterns. And number three, look for a prior trend. If you want to know more about them in details, check out our video on three key rules for candlesticks. Marubozu is probably the only one candle that can violate the rule number three. It can appear anywhere in the chart, no matter what's the trend. Now, let's take a look to its design. This is the bullish Marubozu and this is the bearish Marubozu. As you may notice that there is no upper or lower shadow. Now let's focus on the bullish Marubozu. According to the textbook definition, if the open value is equal to lower value and close value is equal to higher value, then a bullish Marubozu forms. Now let's understand the sentiments of market participant behind this. Generally it shows the beginning of a strong bullish trend. It shows people are ready to buy the stock no matter what the price is. It happens for multiple reasons like a new RBI policy, a government fund relief or a great annual report. I will give you a practical example. This is Nifty Pharma, the indicator for pharma industry. During this pandemic, when the good news about the success of vaccines start coming, then here a bullish Marubozu forms. Now you may ask me, this is not a Marubozu candle because it has some upper and lower shadow. But I want to remember you the second rule. This is difference between the textbook and the real life. And now you may think what you need to do if you find this on a chart. Let me guide you for this. As I told you previous that bullish Marubozu is the beginning of a bullish trend. So the stock is going to move to higher levels in future. Maybe not on the immediate next day, but in upcoming future. But make sure, don't just buy the stock only seeing this candle. Check the other factors too before making any trading decisions. Now let's move to bearish Marubozu. If the open price is equal to high price and the close price is equal to low price, then a bearish Marubozu forms. It is totally opposite to the bullish Marubozu and it indicates the beginning of a bearish trend or a bigger correction. This happened during a fear situation where almost every participant want to sell the shares and come out of the trade. I have a great relatable example for you guys. In this pandemic, when Indian government announced a lockdown to shut the whole country, the fear start increasing in the market and people start selling their shares. Now look at the chart. This is the chart of Nifty 50. A big bearish Marubozu forms and see the correction happened. And if you find this candle on a chart, be aware, 
not to buy the stock anymore. I hope you get a very detailed information about this Madoboju candles. But your job is not done yet. Try to find some stocks with Madoboju candle and then check out their movement for next 10 days. And if you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comments. This is for this video guys. In our upcoming video, we'll look into another famous candle, Doji. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and press that bell icon to get notified. If this video had any value to your life, hit that big fat like button and share this video to your family, friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video guys.